Nicholas Rogers was a handsome poster boy for the tired American dream. He was equal parts Mitt Romney and Robert Oppenheimer. He had the executive contour hair, the little American flag pin. He was a shoe-in for any office. He used his tractor beam smile on a married couple of elderly donors who drank him in along with their Bellinis. You know I take care of my own. Thank you for your support. Excuse me, won't you? Nicholas made his way to the ritzy bathroom, entered, and opened a stall door. Only a very tired attendant hunched in the corner, one other guy at the urinals. Just enough for a quick private moment. Nicholas stood in the stall, happy for a moment away. He rubbed his tired eyes with a hand, exhausted by all the glad handing he'd been forced to do tonight. He unzipped his fly. After a few seconds of urinating, he leaned down a bit, like he was sharing a secret. He had a glimmer in his eye as he spoke to his penis. You and me, Captain, we're gonna win this thing. As the urine continued to hit the water, a giant green head impossibly erupted from the drain. Big Head pulled himself out of the toilet. He wore a snorkel and goggles. <laughs> Looks like you've already got a running mate. Big Head was now out of the toilet from the shoulders up in a full red wetsuit. Nick Rogers, man of the people, champion of the lowly folk, grew up right here in the cradle of liberty. Picture perfect president, if you ask me. Big Head stepped out of the toilet. He had two large green flippers on his feet. Rogers stepped back, unsure what was going on. He grabbed Rogers' tie and pulled his face deep into the dirty water. The politician struggled with his face in the bowl. Big Head stomped the top half of Nick's body into the toilet with a flippered foot, cramming him in. And Harvard Law invested in oil sands. Wall Street loves him. Yes, sir, Bob. Big Head stopped stomping on Rogers and reached for the flush handle with one dainty index finger. Excited for your sanitation legislation, bugaboo? Big Head watched the body turn and twist. Blood spurted up onto the stall door. Nick's body was impossibly and violently spun around upside down and broken apart like a cheap doll as the toilet sucked him down. His body crunched and his bones broke. Big Head, now in a tux, politely walked out of the stall and made his way to the bathroom attendant. The attendant gazed up at Big Head in shock. Blood and water still shot out of Nick's stall a few feet away. Oh, Nick? 